So our next step is to add a second piano track with some lower bass notes in it. So we're going to go up to the instrument browser in the top left hand corner. It's the big square with the two smaller squares on either side. And we're going to select Smart Piano again. Now this time we don't want a chord view, we want a keyboard view. So if you look at the right hand end of your screen in the middle, you can see a red button. It's a picture of a chord strip. If you tap on that red chord strip, it will open up your keyboard view for you. And we want our bass notes to be nice and low sounding, so we're going to lower the pitch. So at the moment, the last key on the left hand end of your keyboard is C2. So if you look just above there, you'll see the zero with the arrows on either side. So if you tap the left hand arrow to change the zero to a minus one, and then you'll see C1 on the left hand side of your keyboard. Okay. Then we're going to go back into the tracks view. So we're going to go up to the bricks button in the top left. That's your tracks view button. And so that we're not going to hear the chords that we've recorded, which might be distracting for us, we're going to just select to only hear our new piano track. So about halfway down this left bar here, if you swipe to the right, you'll reveal these individual volume controls for the different tracks. And if you turn on the headphones of that lower piano track, you'll see that what you've recorded in the top track has turned grey and that means that's muted. So we're not going to hear that, but it's still there when we want to turn it back on. Now it's very important that you have the lower track selected here so that you're recording into this empty space. If your upper track is, is selected, you're going to end up recording over what you've already done. So make sure it's that lower track that you've selected that's a lighter grey there, okay? And then you're ready to go back to the tiny keyboard in the top left to return to your keyboard view. Okay, the last thing we need to do before we can record is select section A. So go to the plus sign at the end of the ruler. Now I can't see my plus sign at the moment because of the arrow. So if I tap return, there you go. I can see the plus sign again now. And I'm going to select section A. Once you've done that, tap to exit that menu and double check that your ruler is starting at one, finishing with two, and that your ruler is black. If your ruler is green, it means that you've already got a recording in there and you're going to record over the top of something by mistake. So make sure it's black, okay? And the notes for the bass note in section A are the same as we used for the chords, but we're starting on C1 along at the left hand end of the keyboard and we're playing four C's and then two F's, two C's. Okay, so I'm going to practice that along with the clicks. So I'll press play. C, two, three. When you're confident, tap return to get that arrow back to the start of the section and record. C, two, three, four, F, F, C, C. There we go. So I've recorded in time with the beat and my ruler has turned green right the way along. See if you can have a practice and record the bass notes for section A.